subscribers, Miller Time Football back again with some more awesome football content for the latest in football transfers, football news, updates. Don't forget to subscribe to Miller Time Football and also hit the notification bell so as soon as I drop some content as it relates to the latest football news, we can get it. And also hit the like button, my viewers, and sub. Share it with your families and friends. And let's jump right into the content. Miller Time Football. Alright, my viewers and subscribers, we're going to be looking at Sergio Regulan. Information coming out straight out of Spain and also Fabrizio Romano, my most credible source of all my transfer information that I'm getting right out of Germany also. And the Manchester Evening News is saying that Sergio Regulan is actually going to Tottenham Hotspurs. Alright. So Tottenham has actually made an official bid for Sergio Regalan and deals are on the way and negotiations are on the way. This is super super disappointing to the Manchester United fans because you know that the Manchester United fans are actually in for Sergio Regalan at the moment. No, he's a left back. You know what I mean? He's a defender, very good. He plays for Seville currently at the moment now, but he's a Madrid player, a Real Madrid player as we all know. He's done by Seville for, he's on a loan uh, from Madrid to Seville. However, there was a Bible clause that was in his contract that was actually holding up the move to Manchester United because uh, I think the negotiators, Ed Woodward and the whole board, they don't normally like to do deals with players and signing players when they have buyback clauses in their contracts all right such as Erling Haaland from Dortmund that was one of the main reasons that we actually didn't get him and didn't really put in a real interest for her Erling Haaland over there in Dortmund same here with Sergio Regulon a very very good player he played in the European League against uh, Manchester United in the semi-final and he performed excellent. He would be an excellent backup for Luke Shaw, right? So just drop it in the comment section, my viewers and subs. What are your views on Sergio Regulon? Do you think that he would be a successful successful uh, Manchester United player? Would he, would he play well? How, how do you think that he would perform in the English Premier League knowing that it would be it's actually one of the hardest league in the world? Alright, and also Sergio Regulon being uh, how would I, a backup for Luke Shaw. You know what I mean? It would be an excellent backup for Luke Shaw in case Mr. Luke Shaw gets injured. We have Regulon could actually come on for Luke Shaw. That's if he signed for Manchester United. But it seems like all that information, that deal, and every negotiation as it relates to Sergio Regulon is actually off. For Manchester United and he is going to Tottenham Hot Spurs as the news that we're getting right out of uh, Germany and also out of Spain and from Fabrizio Romano has actually just tweeted out this information on his Twitter account that is saying that Tottenham Hot Spurs actually made an official bid for Ferguson and deals are undergoing and the terms are being agreed and such forth so we should hear going into tomorrow the next 48 hours what is going to happen if he's going to officially sign for Tottenham Hotspurs and for me personally as a Manchester United fan as we all know I am that would be a big blow for United knowing that we were in pursuit for Sergio Regulon all right Another question, my viewers and sub, as it relates to the transfer window at the moment now, do you think that Manchester United has done enough? Have Manchester United done enough, my viewers and sub, in this transfer window? I'd like to hear your comments of what you think and your thoughts as it relates to Manchester United and this transfer window. Manchester United has just brought in Danny van der Beek. And we all know that the transfer window closes October the 5th. So we have officially three weeks left in the transfer window. Can Manchester United do some business in these three weeks? Get in some players, get in some signings so we can get some more squad depth. Let me hear your comments. Who should we get? Who should we get in and who should we get out? I'm going to just elaborate a little bit as it relates to Manchester United and the whole transfer market and what is going on and my thoughts. I think Manchester United is doing very poorly in the transfer market. 
due to the fact that Ed Woodward and the whole board do not want to spend money or I may be wrong or there is no money at Manchester United because at the moment now Manchester United has a lot of dead wood that needs to be offload that is in the Manchester United squad Deadwood let me explain Andres Pereira we have Chris Smalling you know what I mean there's Rojo there is Jesse Lingard Juan Mata Phil Jones and the list goes on my viewers and sub these players such as Marco Rojo that is on 70,000 a week that Manchester United have not yet offload so I'm thinking this is why Manchester United is actually struggling in this transfer market at the moment now because not offloading those players and opening gaps and making more money as it relates to the budget. I'm not sure what is the transfer budget the Glazers and Ed Wood would have discussed with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer that they're going to spend for this season but so far they have just spent 45 million dollars and we have got in Danny van der Beek. And that's the only transfer that we have done so I'm actually not sure what is the transfer budget drop it in the comment section my viewers and sub how much money do you think that Manchester United got to spend this transfer window and how are they doing in the window so far knowing that there's only three weeks left and just a key note that we play our first Premier League match Saturday against Crystal Palace for me personally, Manchester United is not ready. They are not prepared. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is not prepared and, and I think that we have not done enough in this transfer window so far. There are a few players to get offload. There are players that are on 70k a week such as Lingard. We have Rojo, Chris Smalling and there is uh, Phil Jones also that needs to go. That are not performing to Manchester United's standards. They are not performing at all and I think Manchester United needs to get these players out so we can actually make space for other players and actually open up the money bag I should say you know what I mean and have some extra cash in the pocket so we can actually spend it wisely in this transfer window but without releasing these players it's going to be a real challenge for Manchester United to go forward in this transfer window Alright, it's Miller Time Football. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell for the latest transfer news, for the latest updates on what is going on in the transfer market. Alright, and don't forget to comment my viewers and subs of your thoughts of what you think or who do you think that Manchester United should sign and what is actually going on at Manchester United knowing that they're moving so slow in this transfer window. Similar time football. I'm out.